Hey guys, it's Chris from Survive and Thrive. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pot hook for your tripod. Um, in my last video, I just filmed a few minutes ago, I showed you how to make this tripod right here. So if you haven't seen that, you don't know how to make one, um, it should be in my knot series. Uh, it will be towards the end of the knot series right now. Uh, it's one of my lashings I'll have in there. So go look at that, go check that out, and figure out how to tie this, and then come right back. Uh, I'll be here, this video is not going anywhere. But today I'm showing you how to make a pot hook. This is just one variation of a pot hook. Um, I tend to use a different one. This is just a very basic one I'll show you how to make. And then I'll show you the variation I use. But basically what you're going to do with a pot hook, now if you notice I have a notch in my pot hook, it's just going to be tied to your, uh, your rope. Now your pot hook's just going to be tied onto your rope like so. Um, I'm using sisal rope so what I'll usually do since sisal rope the rope I got is thick I actually thread my pot hook through some of the fibers so it catches that notch a lot better and it won't come out no matter what I put on so there. So as you can see I got my hook with the notch right there. I'm gonna show you how to go through and make this but Nothing's falling out of that. As I said in my tripod video, if I want to adjust the height of my object, I'll just wrap my rope and so on. Okay guys, so uh, I'm actually finding a branch or something to use to make a pot hook. To make a pot hook, all you want is any kind of branch that has a fork in it. So this is going to be our hook, the thinner piece, and this is actually going to be the handle of the hook. So I'm just going to cut that out right now. Um, I'm using a new knife I got. Uh, I've never carried a Bowie knife before, so just to get the feel of it. I decided to pick up a cheap little Bowie knife at the Sporting's Good, Sporting Goods store. Um, for 30 bucks, this blade hasn't been bad. I've had it for about a month and a half now. Not a long enough time to evaluate it, so I'm not going to give you a spiel on it, but I'm just explaining why I have one, or have this one. All right, so I'm going to be using this fork uh, to make my pot hook. So what I'm going to do is I want to cut this thing off the tree itself. So I'm just going to bend it just to make it a little easier to cut through. Now once I have my uh, the par part I want to use, this V. Oh yeah, that's another thing I want to point out. Make sure you're using green wood when you do this because it's going to be hanging over a fire and you don't want it to burn. So my handle, I want to make my handle, I'm going to make it up to about right about there. So... Let me just get some of these branches out of the way. And cut that branch off. That's going to be my marker. First thing I want to do just to get this out of the way is I want to make my hook. Actually. So I can actually make two hooks out of this branch. So I'm going to cut this branch off with about, I want two inches, a little over two inches for my hook. That's just my personal preference. So I'm just going to cut that off. Now I just got to Okay, so I got my hook. So now I need the rest of this branch. So I'm just going to put a notch in it and just break it off. So I got my basics for my hook. So now I'm just going to take off the bottom part of this a little bit. because I don't need all of it on there. And then I'm going to take this point off. So we basically have our pot hook. Now on the one I had over there, the only other thing we got to do is put uh, some notches in it to make it so the rope can grab it. So what you're going to do is take your knife to make a notch, 
And on the back of this, we're just going to take our thumb and I'm going to roll my knife back and forth. So I hope you can see it cutting in. And I'm using a lot of the, I'm rolling with this hand on it just to get it, make sure it's in there or it cuts in a little deeper than I want. I'm rolling with my left hand. I'm using my right hand to keep control of my knife and I'm using my thumb on my left hand to apply pressure. That's so I don't cut through it and cut my hand or anything like that. Now once we have this line right here, we're going to take our knife. Now see the thing I like about this Bowie knife is you can choke up on it a little bit for stuff like this. This is why I, I kind of prefer to have a uh, smaller blade. But now once we have our notch cut in the back, I like to put it in the back. You can put it in the front if you want. Um, I'm going to take my blade just like this and I'm going to cut at an angle towards the line, the cut we just put in. So then I can just cut out a nice perfect notch. So I'm just going to clean that up a little bit, make it a little deeper. Alright, so we got our notch. So that's where our rope's going to catch. Okay, so this is the pot hook I already had. This is the one we just made. I'm just going to trade this one out and put our new one in, which is a little thicker, so it's going to grab a lot tighter on here. I'm just going to feed it through. I tied a knot in here to keep that loop there. And then I'm just going to, it's a slip knot. I have a 2F hitch tied in here so I can tighten on it. And there we go. And make sure before you use it, when you pull on this, your hook doesn't come out. And then we can hang anything on there we want. Now just make sure, as I said, it doesn't come out. This won't come off. Because you don't want to hang a pot of water on it and then the thing fall and you put your fire out. I'm going to show you a way I like to do it a little better with the one I already had made. Now what I'm going to do is I'll use this pencil I have as an example. I'm actually going to tie another stick on where that notch is. So it's like this. So it almost looks like an anchor. Um, so that way I'll show you how to use it and tie this. Okay, so I got the stick I'm going to use. I just cut it off that branch we just used to make this hook. Now I'm just going to carve off any of the ends. It doesn't have to be a perfect stick. Now I'm going to make it my T-joint for this. Okay, so I got the stick I'm going to use to make the joint across the across my uh, hook. So the first thing I'm going to do when I do this is I'm actually going to shave off the back of this and make it flat or as flat as I can. I'll show you why in a second. Then, since we already have a joint there, I'm going to make another notch only facing downward. So I'll show you that. So I'm going to put a cut in just like we did making this earlier. And now I'm going to shave into the cut I made. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a nice flat area, a notch. Let me see, I'm creating how uh, it's in, it's got two sides of the notch. So that way I can place my stick in here and it has something to grab a part of. So 
So now using a smaller rope, you can use thick rope if you want. I'm just using this. I'm just going to timber hitch it. It's got a lot of knots in it. It's a bunch of little ones I attached together. It's all I had on me. And I decided to do this video. So I'm going to do a timber hitch just to start. Got my timber hitch on there. Now I'm going to go around it in a diagonal lashing fashion. Um, I'm going to, my timber hitch is here, my rope's coming out this way. I'm going to go around the X like that. And then I'm going to, I'm only going to do two, and then I'm going to switch. So once I wrap these two, like this, I'm going to switch and come in behind this. And just do two more that way. And then I'm just going to finish with like a clove hitch or an overhand knot, anything. It doesn't need to be fancy. Because we're, uh, it's just a pot hook. So it looks like a mess. That's actually some diagonal lashing right there. Um, this rope is a mess. But anyway, you get the idea. I have my T-joint on my hook, my pot hook. So now once we have a pot hook with uh, an actual T-joint on it, so now once we have a pot hook with an actual T or cross section, what we can do with our rope is we can just tie a bowline in it like I did in my tripod video. Those of you who don't know how to tie a bowline, that is also in my knot series. It's one of the first few I actually did. Very useful knot. So now that we created our non-slip loop, we're just going to take our the T part of our stick and feed it through our bowline. Just like this. So now, our stick isn't falling. Our thing's staying there, and then we can interchange it. We can take it out to hang something else on our tripod if we want. And we don't have to untie anything. We just have to slide it in and out. So, just angle this down so you can see it a little better. So I don't have a bucket with me, so I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to raise this up a little bit. I don't happen to have a bucket with me today, I just have my bag I use. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to put some stuff in here. My other thing is sisal rope. My water bottles. Just to give it some more weight. And then I'm just gonna raise this a little more. And I'm just gonna hang this on there just so you can get an idea of how this works. So you would just take your uh, the, the thing you wanna hang and just Put it on there like that so if that's a pot I could cook or boil water over the fire and then if I want to take it off I can just go like this to use my hook so I don't have to touch the hot metal so it's just an all-around good thing to know so uh, yeah that was the pot hook okay guys so I showed you how to make a simple pot hook for your tripod um, one with the cross joint and one without it just make sure you put those notches in it and you make sure the rope catches it. Um, personally, in my opinion, I would do this way. I would make the cross joint, the T, every single time. Uh, just so you increase your odds of 
keeping your fire and not dropping a, your pot or something on it because this can slip or break. So on that note, uh, last thing to keep in mind that I want to say or stress again is make sure you make it out of green wood just so you don't, uh, you don't burn it or catch it on fire. Okay guys, so if you have any questions regarding the pot hook, uh, feel free to email me. I have my email in the description below. I'm like spacing right now. <laughs> uh, my email will be in the description below, so I'll try to get back to you within 24 hours. Uh, that's my goal. So thanks for checking out my channel. Thanks for checking out my videos, and I hope to see you around.